I'm Allison Civic. I'm Executive Director of the Gila Resources Information Project. We're a nonprofit environmental advocacy organization based in Silver City. And one of the things that I've done for the past 17 years is work to protect the free flow of the Gila River here in southwestern New Mexico. I've been coming to the Gila River for 24 years and I just really fell in love with the place and I've been spending a lot of time here along the Gila. The Gila River is a major part of my life. The Gila River is really important to our communities here in southwestern New Mexico but really the region. People come from all over to come here to picnic, to camp, to uh, kayak, to hike, to fish, to hunt. The Gila River is New Mexico's last major undammed river, and it is uh, one of the iconic rivers in the state, and it's been um, under threat for many years uh, from dams and diversions. The Dirty Water Rule removes protections for ephemeral creeks and interstate waters like the Gila River. And one of the major sources of pollution in this area is the Tyrone Mine. It straddles the Continental Divide uh, just upstream of the confluence um, of Mongoose Creek and the Gila River. And discharges from the Tyrone Mine now uh, don't need to be regulated under the dirty water rule. So obviously toxic contaminants that might leave the mine site and flow down Mongus Creek to the Gila River are a huge concern with the dirty water rule. <laughs>